I want to start out this uh, process by uh, thanking a lot of people. Uh, this has been a long, interesting couple of years. Uh, there's been a tremendous amount of work from our staff. There's been a tremendous amount of work on the part of Penn National, uh, but also on the, on the part of uh, the Raynham team and the Lemonster team. This process has involved literally thousands of people, whether uh, they've come to public hearings, public officials working on permitting, working on negotiations, uh, the referenda. We've had, as you heard us talk about yesterday, we've had thousands of emails and letters. We've had public appearances. Um, it's been an extraordinary process involving a tremendous number of people uh, putting their shoulders to the wheel to try to come up with the best possible deal for this region and for the people of Massachusetts. Almost exactly two years ago, we started the process to award the expanded gaming licenses in Massachusetts. We committed to making that process participatory, transparent, and fair. And I believe that we've met that first objective. The legislative purpose for expanded gaming in Massachusetts was to generate revenues, jobs, and economic development. With this award this morning of the first license, I think we will meet this objective as well. The Plain Ridge Park Casino will generate something like $250 million in tax revenue for the people of Massachusetts in its first two years, and something like $60 million a year thereafter. There are something like 500 permanent jobs that will be generated, and I don't know how many construction jobs. 1,000 1, construction jobs and 500 permanent jobs or so in operating the facility. And Penn National already has signed more than 40, probably by now many more than 40, uh, collaborative marketing agreements with other organizations and businesses in the region and will serve as an economic development driver for the region as well. In addition to the routine business of gaming where we will be collaborating now with our new uh, partner, Penn National, we will partner with uh, the licensee to boldly take on the challenges of problem gambling and to keep that to an absolute barest minimum and we will partner with Penn National to collaborate in the future and success of harness racing in Massachusetts. With that, I want to express my congratulations on behalf of all of the commissioners. Um, you saw the process yesterday. It was a very uh, collaborative process on the part of all the commissioners. I want to congratulate Penn National, and I want to welcome them to Massachusetts. And uh, my best to Tim Wilmot, President and CEO. Thank you, Chairman. <clears throat> I want to thank the commission the staff, um, and all the, all the people that uh, worked over the last um, seven, eight months to bring this day to a reality. Uh, it was a, I was telling the commissioners that I've been involved with this selection process in a number of different jurisdictions. This was the first one that was ever deliberated publicly, and I lost a lot of hair this week watching, <laughs> watching the proceedings back and forth. So but, <laughs> We couldn't be more pleased um, being the, given the opportunity to open the first casino here in the Commonwealth. And I, I do want to acknowledge the other two quality applicants who put forth very competitive proposals that we had to go up against. And it was, it was certainly a very difficult decision, but uh, we're pleased to be selected. Uh, we're anxious to get started. We're going to be on the ground uh, Monday with the construction team to uh, begin the process and hopefully at the very near future be able to communicate a groundbreaking ceremony date and uh, get this facility started, get the 1,000 construction jobs ready to go, and get this facility open in the second quarter of 2015. We're heading down later today to go meet with the 100 or so employees that are currently operating the, uh, the racing operations at, at Plain Ridge Park. We're going to do some celebration there and let them know that the future looks even brighter, and we're looking forward to starting live racing there on April 15th and run 100 days this year, and uh, this obviously gives harness racing here in the Commonwealth a very, very bright future, and we're glad to be part of it. We happen to be one of the largest paramutual operators in North America and have a lot of experience in making sure that we have very successfully well-executed racing uh, operations integrated with casino operations, and we look forward to working in partnership with the Massachusetts Gaming Commission to do the best we possibly can for the Commonwealth. So thank you and look forward to being part of this great state and uh, getting these jobs started as fast as we possibly can.
Thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Handshake.